In Vietnam, glory obscured, every unit has a purpose. It is highly efficient at its purpose, but weak outside of it. As such, the right tool should always be used for the job at hand, and a mixed force will allow you to handle any situation that arises. Whilst it is outside the scope of this tutorial to demonstrate every unit's strengths and weaknesses, it will highlight some key infantry units and their primary uses. Infantry can be used to defeat any threat within the game. When faced with large infantry forces, M60 or RPD gunners can be used to hold the line against much greater numbers. Grenadiers and snipers can be used to thin out an advancing force before it arrives or outrange enemy machine gunners to clear the way for an attack. Armored vehicles cannot be damaged by small arms fire, allowing them to decimate infantry lines with no retaliation from standard infantry such as marines and regulars. However, they take high damage not only from anti-vehicle tanks and artillery pieces, but also from the lowly law and RPG soldier. The majority of vehicles have very low visual range and cannot reveal stealth infantry, so despite often having considerable firing range, they can be easily ambushed when they are unsupported by infantry. Aircraft pack very high levels of firepower and can move into position very rapidly. However, they are highly fragile and can be knocked from the sky by a variety of anti-air weaponry, including the SA-7 and Red Eye missile soldiers. These infantry units are vulnerable when on their own, but can rapidly remove aerial threats when in jungle or in groups. As such, aircraft are most effective at rapid strikes, and AA units should be cleared out before they are deployed. Some units, such as towed artillery or anti-air emplacements, must be manually deployed to fire. Others can be more effective when deployed, such as machine gunners or the T-54 tank. Such units are potentially very powerful, but must be carefully managed, as they can be difficult to pull back if assaulted. In Vietnam Glory Obscured, it is therefore critical to take into account the strengths and weaknesses of the various unit types in order to successfully defeat the enemy.